Have you heard about this idea about the Robin Hood tax? Yes, it's a sweet little idea, taxing the banks to help the poor, but I don't think it will work. It's very, very complicated and would be very tough on the banking sector. But you've just been given billions of dollars in taxpayer dollars to help pull it together. Well, well yes, it is. And you've given yourselves true. billions of dollars in salary bonuses. Well, yes, that's also kind of true, but uh, you So know, the tax is a charge on all banks' transactions that exclude those made by the general public. Bonds, derivatives, currency speculations, that sort of stuff. Is that right? Yes, very, very complicated stuff. So the bankers would give how much from each deal? What, what would it be, around 25%? <laughs> no, no, not that All right, much. all right, 10, 10%? Well, no, not 10%. 5%. No, 5%. Not, not 5%, but very close to 5 More or less? Um, slightly less. How, slightly. About, uh, how about 1%? No, a little bit less than 1%. A tenth of a percent? No, not, not quite, but very close to a tenth. How about 0.005%? Yes, that's quite, that's about right. 0.05%. <laughs> And sometimes it could even be less. So that doesn't sound like a lot to most people. No, well, I can kind of and see that, but... And how would that raise to help people at home and abroad? What, what could that do? Well, you know, a, a little bit. It, it could, would it raise could, a little. It, maybe it would raise a million dollars? <laughs> no, no, uh, well, um, uh, a little more. hundred million dollars? Um, no, not quite a hundred million. A little bit more, but not much. Not, not five hundred million dollars. Not five hundred million, really. A little bit more than five hundred million. A billion dollars? Uh, I could be more than a billion, but not ten, much. Ten billion dollars? I think you're missing the point. It's it's a little bit more than that, but 50 not... Fifty billion dollars. A little, a little, a little more, but not, not too much more. Well, I've heard that in fact it would be hundreds of billions of dollars. Well, technically. So let me get this straight. A tiny tax on the banks could raise hundreds of billions of dollars to use this to help the poorest people on the planet, help take action against the growing climate crisis, and be used to prevent cuts to social programs in this country. Well, when you put it that way, I guess so. All right, then let's get it. But that's my money. You stole it from people. It's never been your money. But but I I help it to go around the world and I do funny things and somersaults with it so that I can make more money. <coughs> and so it's really mine. When I say Robin Hood, you say tax. Robin Hood. Tax. Robin Hood. Tax. When I say tax the, you say banks. Tax the. 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 Banks. Woo! When I, hey, hey, hey. when I say banks, you say make them bigger. Banks. Hey. When I say more money, you say in my pocket. More money. My pocket. No, not your pocket. My, my pocket. Bank pockets. Yeah. 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 Yay! Yay to the people! Yay. Give it up for Mike and Chelsea for doing that skit. That was awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, first off, we'd like to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, you guys are pretty brave and we appreciate you being here in the wind and the cold and everything so give yourselves a round of applause off the jump also we uh we want to make sure that we thank everybody who has been occupying the park yeah for the last few weeks they have allowed us to maintain this platform here for us to share ideas and have discussion on how we can have a better tomorrow which is the idea right my name my name is Burt Richards, and here is Chelsea Taylor. Well, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Chelsea Taylor, and I'm, I've been happy to be here with everyone. This is a great day. Thank you. Yes. And so, to be more specific, we're here to talk about the Robin Hood tax. Uh, how many of you are familiar with the Robin Hood tax? Actually, let's double check. When I say Robin, you say... Wait, Robin. Robin, when I say Robin Hood, you say tax. Robin Hood. Tax. Robin Hood. Tax. Robin Hood. Tax. Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Tax the rich or banks. That's right. Well, you get the idea. Um, I'm gonna have Chelsea go into more details about the tax itself, and uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it's your mic. Sure. So also I'd love to give it up for the people-powered system we got over here. Thank you. Awesome. We're making it more sustainable ourselves. That's This is people power. Um, so just a, a quick summary. If you didn't get it from the skit, the Robin Hood tax has come out of all kinds of places. There's different calls. Uh, Canada passed a motion of sorts to explore the potential of passing something like this and then under the conservative government they've reversed that position that's right shame on them jim flaherty went to the finance minister's meeting in the g20 and he vowed to the, his friends down on wall street that he would not let this kind of tax happen this is the guy who has been actively campaigning to pass a harmonized sales tax on all of us so we really know where their priorities are not even a 0.05% tax on, on the richest people and a harmonized sales tax for all of us. That doesn't sound fair. So a little bit of context there as well. It's a very small trickle for a trickle down effect to come back down to us down here in the real world. Um, to bring it into more context, we're gonna have a, a few speakers speaking for the evening or throughout the, the afternoon. So I'd like to introduce our first speaker. His name is Ken Ward. Ken Ward hails from Enoch Cree Nation in the Treaty 6 area. Ken has worked with nonprofit organization or agencies in the last 22 years and has co-founded the Feather of Hope, Alberta. Ken's solidarity in today's uh, time with Occupy Global and is noted as a young elder since 1996. So if everybody could please make some noise for Ken Ward. Thank you, Tanse, bonjour, and all that stuff. My name is Ken. I come from the Treaty 6, and I'm really honored to spend a little bit of time with you all. I've been sitting with a group for almost two weeks, and what had compelled me as a First Nations, but also as a human being, and as I was going through some of the key messages, and then ironically, today is the Robin Hood tax. Well, years ago in Moccasin Country, we talk about colonization, about our peoples. And one of the things that they did years ago was offer us a mere bag of flour, sugar, and salt. That was a token. So now that bag of flour kind of symbolizes Robin Hood, doesn't it? But we survived. And we share the same struggles with you as well. As a former band counselor from Enoch, we have to endure our struggles as well. For many years, we sat down as elders prophesied moons ago that this was the coming of change. It's called the cleansing of our peoples and some will die in the time. And as you can see, so many lives have been affected by greed, power, and control. I'm considered now as a young elder, and I too was a product of that as well. And watching all this, and we talk about corporate greed, the ones who abuse this money, some say it's evil. And one man I found really interesting, and I really found that appealed to me as I watched his funeral was Mr. Jack Layton. Now here was a true warrior at heart for the poor, the social needs that need to be addressed. And you represent those voices of many, including my ancestors and yours. But it's time for change like you have heard so many times. When I was given these key messages, my heart went really strong. There is hope. And as a former drug addict who survived and who had to struggle with resistance of control, and having to live a terminal illness for 22 years, I fought for something that was so dear to me and what you are here to present. Pride, dignity, and integrity. You are the people who's gonna make this change as much as we as all. Occupy Edmonton is an extended family for global change. You got the little ones who need you. They need that security. You've got the elderly. 
who need safe security in their time. So all I can ask is say, do stand strong and stand proud because this is your spirit. This is your heart for the many who need you. And we at Occupy Edmonton and the ones who sacrifice their time to camp here are students, are the, un are the employed who generously come here and camp symbolically to represent that unity. So pray for these people who stay here who have to endure elements because they are part of your voice as well. So please support this camp and I pray that this journey will not stop because it's a journey for hope for Occupy the World. So I thank you from my heart. <laughs> All right, so our next speaker go right is Sandra, I'm going to mispronounce this, Azokar. Sandra is one of the vice presidents of the Alberta Union of Pro Provincial Employees, representing nearly 80,000 workers providing publicly funded services across the province. <laughs> a decades-long activist in Alberta, she has been a determined advocate for improved and stable funding for necessary public services. Let's give her a warm welcome when she comes up. here. I just have to wait till the mic is up a little bit. <laughs> there? Okay. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, uh, my name is Sandra Azakar and along with the rest of the uh, AUP, Alberta Union of Provincial uh, Employees Executive, and on behalf of our almost 80,000 members, I would like to bring our greetings of solidarity and support to the struggle. Our struggle. As Alberta's largest ser uh, public service union, we experience firsthand the effects of the political unwillingness of this current government to finance public services accordingly. We experience the effects of lack of the resources, the frontline resources in the areas that make our society what it is today, that define our society. Areas such as education, lack of predictable and sustainable funding, we see the largest uh, growing uh, class sizes in this province, the cutting of programs that are essential for our youth. In the area of healthcare, we see mismanagement and lack of funding which recognizes population growth in this province and other variants. Our members are being short-staffed every day and undervalued. In the area of environment, our members are dwindling in numbers in favor of allowing oil companies, forestry companies, gas companies to self-regulate and self-assess. We experience firsthand the effects of an economy based on one commodity, oil. We live through the boom and bust cyclical financial uh, planning that this government has put in place for the last 40 years that produces boom and, and bust cycle. How we, we constantly are being told to tighten our belts, to stop being greedy to take one for the team. We're all working. We're all workers, brothers and sisters. We have families to support, bills to pay, taxes to pay. We provide essential services to this province. We make this province run smoothly, yet we're more often than not left behind when it comes to recognizing this fact. We're tired of this government trying to divest their responsibility to provide public services to other, in, other, to, in other areas and ways. We're tired of this government trying to balance their budgets on the back of families of this province, including ours. We're tired of this government taking ownership of our language and using it to sell their philosophical doctrine of divesting and privatizing. There are many people, brothers and sisters, who believe that if they can afford it, they should be given the opportunity to buy it. But for us working people, if we can't afford it, then who answers the question of who then decides who goes without. Today, we're witnesses to the creation of a growing disparity of those that have and those that don't. Witnesses to millions that can't afford medical care. Millions of children who can't afford food or education. As an activist who's been around, I will not be the last one to criticize your impatience at the lack of change. Regardless of where you come from, where you live, and what privilege or lack of, of privilege you've had in your lives, 
Instead, I applaud you for taking action, for taking a stand, and for demanding change. Amen. We have a long fight ahead of us, brothers and sisters. But first, we need to continue to educate and mobilize. The Robin Hood tax is just one of the solutions that can address